All right, so it is now 30 minutes later, and I'm going to remove the dough from the bowl, Mommy. and I'm going to roll it out in sections. Mommy, you got it like a pizza? touch it okay and so I have eight sections you see eight sections that I'm going to use to roll out into chapatis so I'm going to start with this first one and I'm going to place it between the baking paper and I'm going to start to roll well, let's just bring this a little bit closer so that you all can see. This is the dough, okay? And this is the baking sheet. And the reason that I'm using the baking sheet is because it gives it a much smoother uh, texture when you roll it out. And then I will just use a top to cut the circles out so that it's nice and round. So now I'm going to get my top. And just watch how I do this. I'm just going to twist it a little bit. And then I'm going to peel the edges. And I'm going to reuse this dough to fill in any gaps that I might have. Okay. So let's see. I don't have many gaps, but I do want to make it thicker. Uh, this edge over here. Okay, and so I'm going to place the baking paper back and roll again. Cut it out again. And just remove the edges and we'll use that in another chapati. We're going to add that to another one. So I'm just going to place it back in the bowl. There's our chapati. Right. And I'm just going to set it aside on a plate so that we can just, you know, fry it later and I'll show you how to fry it. All right, so I'm gonna take another piece and I'm gonna show you again how to go ahead and roll it out so that it forms into a nice chapati. Again, just place it on top of your baking sheet and then place another baking sheet on top, lightly press it and use your rolling pin to roll evenly like this forward and back again and then kind of switch like that you want to try to make it nice and even you don't want to apply too much pressure to it but just enough so that it rolls out into maybe like an eighth of an inch thickness or a tenth of an inch thickness. Okay. And then we just peel the top layer off. Bring your cutter again. In this case, I'm using a simple plastic top. I'm going to cut out a perfect circle. Peel the edges. 
And I'm going to place those eggs back in the bowl because nothing is going to get wasted. All of this will be cooked. Okay. And there you have it. It's our other chapati. Okay. So then I'm just going to take it and flip it over on my hand. Gently peel the paper off. And I'm going to place this, this chapati on the plate. And do the next one so I'm gonna take the leftover from that one as well as the next piece edit together and repeat This one it kind of came to loose a little bit because the paper crinkled up so if something like this happens perfect example just start over just kind of roll it back into a ball and um, try again and with this one I'll probably switch out the paper okay so we're just gonna roll it out again circle out of this piece and just peel back the extra and put it back in your bowl and if you'll see you have some edges that are less than perfect so I'll just take a piece and put it there to roll it All right, so now all of the chapatis have been rolled out. It took me about 15 minutes or so to do that. And I have my pan pre-warmed, preheated, and so I'm going to place them one by one into the pan to cook. Okay, so you just toss it in like that. And it will start to cook and get puffy. And once you see it starting to puff up, you can go ahead and flip it over. All right, so now I'm going to get ready to flip it over because it should be ready. Okay, and you can see it's cooking nicely. This is how it looks. And you can see it's starting to puff. Let's just bring the camera in closer so that you guys can see it. The way that it's puffing up. You see? 
nice chapati. It's almost done. And we're just going to cook all of them the same way. So you want to cook them maybe about a minute to a minute and a half on each side. And butter is just fine, you all. I use grass-fed curry gold butter. Just a little bit to coat your chapati so they stay nice and soft. All right, fam, I just got finished frying all of the chapatis up aren't they beautiful this is how they look and they are nice and pliable nice and bendy they will not break or crack when you bend them you can even fold them into four pieces if you want to see like that very good for dipping in your stews and eating your stews um let's see you can make sandwiches with them you can eat it with your breakfast with your eggs and your sausage or whatever you're going to eat for breakfast and so very versatile um, and again it's gluten free we're not using wheat flour for this because this is it's keto it's low carb it's diabetic friendly it's also paleo because it's made with coconut flour all right um, it can be vegan. Yeah. Now I did use sheep's yogurt in my um, in my flour, but you can use coconut yogurt or whatever vegan yogurt that you have, and use um, you know olive oil is naturally vegan too. It can be easily turned into vegan chapatis um, for those who are dairy free and animal product free. Um, so yeah. You don't have to go without just because you have to have a special diet. You can eat good. And I guarantee you when my husband gets home today, half of these chapatis will be gone. He will eat them. And just look at them, you guys. They are beautiful. Mashallah. All right. I'll talk to you all later.